What's going on BCV Nation? We are back with another video. This time around, we have an interview with the Senior Vice President of Fuelman, Mr. Keegan Russo. Yes, you heard it correctly. Is a Senior Vice President of Fuelman that's going to bring us uh, some information about Fuelman. Uh, we try to bring in these executives from you know companies that we deal with all the time, guys just so you get this information directly from the source, okay? Uh, there's no better uh, way to get the information to you, so this is one of the reasons that we do this specifically for you guys, so um, I hope that you enjoy the interview. Uh, if you learn something and if you find the content uh, helpful, please drop a like, and if there's any questions that you wanna ask Mr. Uh, Russo, let me know and I'll find a way to relay those questions to uh, him. Remember that you guys are the clients, that the information and the feedback that you provide about the, their products is very important to them. So thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the interview, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and subscribe to the video. Thank you so much, enjoy. Thank you so much uh, for coming into the channel. Uh, today we have, as promised, a uh, nice treat from you. And uh, we have Keegan Russo from Fuel Man. And I'm going to let him introduce himself. Tell us, uh, Keegan, first of all, uh, foremost, thank you so much for coming to the channel and agreeing to this interview. Uh, why don't you please let the audience know what you do? Well, where were you uh, working before coming uh, to Fieldman? Sure. Yeah, no, thanks for uh, the opportunity. I'm glad we were able to connect. The, uh, my, my team and I have uh, enjoyed kind of going through uh, some of the work that, that you've put out there. And I think you're doing a, a great thing to demystify some of the challenges around business credit, which is, you know, it's, a, it's not an area where there's a lot of... Uh, you know, easy accessibility to expertise. So we appreciate what you're doing. But yeah, and, um, as Wilbur said, my name is Keegan Russo. Uh, I lead the uh, Fuel Man group at Fleet Corps. Uh, so that includes the, the Fuel Man proprietary card uh, and the Fuel Man MasterCard. Uh, and you know, my main focus really is um, leading the, the business for local fleets in North America with the, the distinction um, that we make here at, at Fuelman and, and Fleet Corps between you know, um, businesses that are focused on trucking and transportation solely, right? Where their job is to drive you know, from point A to point B uh, versus more of the businesses that uh, my group focuses on, they tend to be driving to a place to do the work. Right, um, you know, and there is a, a little bit of crossover there. So, you know, our uh, our group will will work with anyone from you know the local plumber who has one vehicle to you know major carbonated beverage uh, companies or um, or parcel delivery services that you know you see those Clarks out, uh, those uh, those vehicles out there on the road every day. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> it's it's uh, it's good that you mentioned a few things there, including you know uh, how Fuelman is working not only with uh, truck drivers who are spending thousands of dollars on a weekly basis, sometimes on a daily basis, but also you're working with you know small business owners like myself, and that's where a lot of my audience comes in. You know, a lot of my audience they have. Uh, they have one vehicle mm -hmm. that they're using for work, or they have five vehicles uh, like myself that we're leveraging business credit uh, to try to create uh, extra income streams. Yep. And in my case, it's been you know absolutely amazing to be able to acquire uh, some vehicles and utilize uh, Fuelman and Fleet Corps uh, to be able to 
uh, fuel those vehicles and not worry about cash at the moment, <clears throat> leveraging uh, fleet core and fuelment for uh, cash preservation. And one side note here, I got to tell you, uh, I was speaking with one of my admins. Uh, we have a Facebook group too with like almost 14,000 members. And I was speaking with one of my admi uh, admins and I was telling him, have you noticed the quality of the car from Fleet Corps and Fuelman? The quality, man, is it's, it's just insane. I'm going to, yes, look at that. Yeah, I have a couple I happen to, I keep them on my desk because, you know, I think, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty proud. We have a really good vendor management team here and uh, they have a lot to juggle with lots of different styles. But, you know, the uh, the card, I'm I'm a fan of the card. I think our, our designers did a really nice job. <laughs> yes, they do. And I'm telling you, each each and every one of the, the cars that I have from Fuel Man, like you can see, uh, and there's a nice orange, uh, you know, uh, detail there. And also almost all of them, they have the chip here, yeah. which offers a lot of extra security. Um, but just a side note there and, and to let you know that, you know, um, the fuel man is one of the tools that we really implement and we encourage our audience to use it. Uh, we've, we've moved away from other, uh, gas vendors. Um, what we've, what I've, and probably you can speak a little bit about that is that the customer service compared to other companies without the need of, of mentioning their name, the customer service, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's good. It's really good. And, you know, coming from dealing with about three to five other vendors, the customer service will fuel man. It's, it's really, really great. Uh, I mean, that, that's awesome to hear. And, uh, you know, I'd love to respond that there. I, so. Um, first, I, I think this, it's a place where we've been spending a lot of energy trying to get better, right? It's not that hard, uh, to search online and find plenty of people who actually disagree with what you just said. And, you know, so I, I've been with the company a, a couple of years and, and in that time, you know, I've worked very closely with our head of service, uh, our, our digital experience, uh, leaders. Uh, to try to be much more thoughtful and putting the, the customer first and thinking through the experience we want to build. And I say we still have a long way to go. And I, I, you know, I think if you look at it historically, the, the big companies in this space uh, typically came at it um, with a larger fleet customer in mind, right? That's where the, the larger kind of revenue pools are for mm -hmm. you, your your fleet cores, fuel man, wax, EFS, you know, like all the all these guys are, you know, we're obviously going to focus where the revenue is. Right? Um, and I think that that makes sense. And um, I think we're we're finally getting to the point where uh, you know we really have identified that you know historically when when you focus on that segment, uh, it leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, in terms of experience for the smaller business owners who, you know, the, I think the big differentiator there is uh, instead of the key decision maker and person who's using an end user being a fleet manager who lives and uh, breathes all things fleet, you're working with a business owner and no one opened up uh, a business like yourself so that they could figure out how to make fuel carts work. Right. Uh, and so, you know, what we're trying to do is over time, try to simplify things as much as possible and still keep all the features and benefits that, you know, a attracted those fleet managers so that, you know, someone like yourself can, if they choose to, can, you know, manage their fleet, like, you know, UPS's fleet manager does if they want to, but at the same right. time, if you don't, you need to be able to use the thing. And, and, you know, we really try to figure out what's most important. Uh, and make it easy to leverage kind of those those things and use the cards in, in that way. Um, so I'm really happy to hear you say that. We are very focused on making the uh, fuel man more friendly to smaller businesses. Um, but I will acknowledge that we, we have a ways to go, um, but it, we'll, we'll, we'll get to where we wanna be, I think. 100%, I mean, it's it's hard. If you, if you had it down 100%, I think that would be uh, that would be impossible. Number one to satisfy everybody. So, 
you know, we have different likings and we have different preferences and to be able to uh, cater to all of those preferences and, and likings, it's, it's nearly impossible. It's good to have, <clears throat> you know, an opposite uh, or, or, or a, a, the feedback that is not, you know, positive so we can grow, right? That's where we grow. Um, and, and, you know, I, I commend you guys, uh, you and your team for what you're doing in that area, but can, because I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. We, with small business owners, we really, I mean, we pay a lot of attention to that, um, because we feel that, you know what I mean? That we're spending a lot of money and, you know, when we do that, we expect good service. I mean, we don't expect like, uh, the red carpet to be rolled out, but we appreciate when a company like Fuelman, Fleet, Fleet Corps, you know, comes in and really pays attention to that to those things um another thing that i wanted to ask you and i and i know we're we're almost wrapping up here um what are the things and again i, I you probably may not have this the answer to this question what are the things that a small business owner should take into consideration before before applying for for fleek or or any fuelman products so what are the things that you will advise them or um, have them to have in place, like in terms of business structure and things like that. Yeah. Um, so without going into too much detail around kind of the, the credit you need, because, you know, generally, you know, I, I want a business owner to, you know, have a few things in mind to help make their decision of what fuel card they want to use easier. And, you know, in general, you know, there's different options around, you know, whether you, you know, you have an unsecured line of credit, which is really helpful for the working capital, uh, whether you have a secured line, whether you um, are okay with having a personal guarantor, like there are ways to get you into a fuel man fuel card. Um, but I would say the, the things that uh, I would advise business owners to, to be thoughtful of before they apply is, um, you know, one, know how much you, you need. Right. So do the math beforehand, see, you know, what's the most you spent in a week, two week month period in the past um, and what's the average. Uh, and th those will be really helpful. Know more or less uh, your willingness to uh, stop at a subset of fueling locations or if you need the flexibility to be able to stop everywhere. Right. Because some products uh, will give you a, a restricted network but might give you better pricing at that restricted network versus the MasterCard option where, you know, you'll still get rebates. Uh, it just won't be at the same level as some of the, the, the smaller network um, fuel right. proprietary cards. Um, so know right. that going in and then really just, you know, understand these are the three things that are most important to me, right? One working capital. Okay. So let's find the best card for you. Um, is it convenience of, of location or, you know, what it, it might even be, I care about my company's sustainability story. Uh, and, you know, you come to fuel man because we have a card that we built that will actually buy carbon offsets to make your fleet carbon neutral. Right. So you know, we've seen almost, almost 20% of our new applicants last month came through on, on that program. And so we're seeing a lot of small businesses really kind of do the research up front, you know, in large part because of the efforts of, of folks like yourself who are helping educate uh, the, the group uh, and really know what they want and find the right product. So, you know, and it, we love that because, you know, it, it means that they stay longer and they are actually getting the services and uh, features and benefits that mean the most to them. Fantastic. And that's so important. Like and <clears throat> one of the things that I tell my, my audience is, Hey, what is more important to you? Is it having accessibility to the gas station? Like you want to go to a gas station, you want to have accessibility to it. Um, and that will be the most affordable option because if you get a BP car, for instance, uh, BP solutions, right? Um, and if you have enough, and just to give you kind of like a, an example, if you have like a lot of these gas cars with, which in New York, we have plenty of this. Okay, if you if if, if accessibility is the most important thing to you and uh, prices, then this could be a good car because you're not going to pay 
pay extra fees as opposed to, for instance, like the, the MasterCard, the BP MasterCard, mm -hmm. where, where if you use it, you can use it in a lot of gas stations, right? But you may have to pa pay a tra transaction fee. So, yeah, you know, network or right, exactly. Right. Um, picking, picking back on, on what you said is like, you have to pick, go into the application process, having all those points already outlined and, um, and figure that out. Keegan, we uh, are out of time. I know you have a hard stop. Yeah, I, let's do it I again. Want, absolutely. I want to thank you so much for your patience. I know we had a, a, a few mishaps just to connect. Um, I appreciate you. Let's do a, a second interview probably with mo uh, more time. And uh, the floor is yours if you want to say something before we wrap it up. Oh, no. I mean, so, I mean, I'll just, I'll just kick it back to you. I mean, I, so I, I reached out to you because I, I do appreciate the work that you're doing. I think, um, you know, before I took this role, I, I was a small business owner. I have many, many friends uh, who have ventured out you know, and, and started their own businesses. And I, you know, asked a lot of questions to them about the, the fuel card category and, and, you know, how I should be thinking about this role. And one of the, the things that I took away was there is a huge population of small business owners that don't, uh, you know, haven't quite seen the value uh, of a fuel card. They don't actually think of the one to three, four vehicles that they have for their business as a fleet. And they think, you know, that that product is for a different person, you know, that doesn't trust their drivers or you know, just has more to manage than, than me. Um, and, you know, what I've found since, since I've joined uh, Fuelman is, you know, that's not, not necessarily true. I mean, the working capital aspect of the, the product can be a huge benefit to small business owners. Uh, and, you know, it opens up a whole set of tools to, at, at your disposal to better manage a, a key asset for the business. So, um, the work that you're doing to talk about business credit and really highlight the, the category so that people better understand why it can be a useful tool in their arsenal um, is something that uh, I'm, I'm very thankful for. So please keep it up. Thank you so much. And that means a lot to us. I mean, thank you. Yeah, we're trying to educate our audience so they can make better decisions, find the, the products uh, that are good. And the products that, you know, from companies who appreciate them more, you know, companies who appreciate uh, them and their, their hard earned money. And uh, is their, their, they show that in a great customer service like uh, Fuel, Fuel Man is doing. So thank you guys uh, for doing that. Keep it up, Keegan. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Uh, and I hope we can do this again. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Take care, Will. All right, thanks. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this interview. There was a lot of information uh, provided by Keegan on this interview. Uh, if you uh, like to have any questions, if you have any questions that you want answered by uh, Mr. Russo directly, let me know, post them on the comments down below. I mean, you know, uh, they're watching uh, these videos. They're also, you know, are keeping an eye guys on your feedback. Remember that there's no better way to get uh, improve your services and product than hearing directly from the client. So if you have any questions uh, that you want answered, uh, drop them down below and um, I can either relay those questions directly to Mr. Russo or I could, um, they'll, they'll be watching the, and, and reading the comments too. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this content, guys. Again, like I said at the beginning of uh, the video we are bringing this content specifically for you if you found a value and uh, this video this interview uh, please drop a like don't forget also to subscribe and uh, comment down below we greatly appreciate it guys uh, I look forward to speaking to you uh, very soon peace I'll see you.